In many developing economies, growth relies on cross-border trade, aided by robust logistics infrastructure. The government of Ghana is transforming the country's rail system speedily to ease vehicular traffic and transport to goods from one point to the other. Minister for Ghana Railways Development, John Peter Amu has disclosed that construction works on the Timam Pakadan railway line is at a 95% completion stage, and there are ongoing engagements with the minister for the transformation of the endpoint of the railway line into a modern port. Welcome to Africa Trends TV. Subscribe, like and leave a comment. Speaking in an interview with journalists during a site visit, the railway development minister John Peter Amu said the project when completed will significantly reduce road traffic and increase economic activities from Tima to other parts of the Volta and Eastern region. In a statement he said, and I quote, I am very impressed with the progress of work, and as the contractors have indicated, we're within the schedule to complete it by the end of the year. Very much impressed about the, uh, the quality of work. Um, there been a bit of delay, as you know yourself, because of the COVID. But they managed to live up to schedule and I'm very much impressed about what they've done. I think this is uh, the first ever railway bridge that we are witnessing in this country under His Excellency Nana Rudankwa Kufuadu. And you can all see the, uh, the work being done. I'm extremely happy. Uh, we're hoping that by the end of the year, uh, we should be seeing a practical complexion. said talks are ongoing to make use of the ending point at Mpakadan, which has become a concern. It is important that we need to have some level of collaboration quickly to see what to do at the port of Mpakadan. Otherwise, it will be a train leading to nowhere. Because this project completion will be completed sooner than expected, hence that port needs to be completed soon, the minister added. He noted that the traffic condition on the Tima Afienya Highway would reduce if the project is completed. So if we can put those vehicles on the track, it is going to take that pressure off the road and make commuters comfortable. We are working towards that, and it will be done shortly. The minister was also optimistic that the completion of the railway project will improve the activities and movement of traders who transport commodities on the route. The Timam Pakadan Railway project will cover about 90 kilometers from Tima Port to Pakadan near Akasambo in the eastern region. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, construction works on the project had to stall for a period. However, the firm undertaking the project, Afghans Infrastructure Limited, has given the assurance that efforts are underway to ensure the project is completed and handed over to the government of Ghana by the end of 2022. We are doing trials with our vehicles from Tema to Tong. Uh, today also we drove at uh, 80 kmph and uh, after we lay the tracks on this bridge, we will reach up to kilometer 94, which is almost 95% of the overall project. Then what's left is the Pagadam railhead. There also work is going on. We expect it to finish by December. The railway line, when completed, is expected to link Ghana from Tima to Ouagadougou, which is Burkina Faso's capital. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for our next impressive content.